Hey everyone, Sam from Ball Street here with your transfer request show, our daily rumours roundup basically, taking a look at three of the rumours that have come out from the weekend. Let's go straight to it. First one up, uh, rumours that Mark Testagen, Barcelona goalkeeper, could be on his way to Liverpool for £20 million. Now, obviously Simon Minnelay has just signed a new contract, new long-term deal with Liverpool, which means one of two things. Either Jurgen Klopp sees Minnelay as Liverpool's long-term goalkeeper and the Belgians staying in goal, or it means that Liverpool are going to get a good price for him when, they, when he gets sold. Let me know in the comments below what, what one you think it is. Um, but is there any chance that Ter Stegen could come in from Barcelona? Uh, I suppose if he wants to play first-team football out there, he's got Claudio Bravo, who he's competing with as Barcelona's first-choice goalkeeper. One of the best teams in the world, there's no argue about that with Messi, Suarez and Neymar. And it's a wonderful club as well. Uh, Liverpool does have its appeal, obviously, um, still around the world. It's still one of the bigger clubs because of their previous success. But Mignolet, Ter Stegen, this one seems a bit wavy, especially after Mignolet's just signed a new deal. So let me know in the comments below what you think about that one. So moving on to the second rumour. This one, I think, has got a little bit more legs to it. Loic Remy potentially going to Crystal Palace from Chelsea. I think it's got legs for two reasons. First of all, Loic Remy, his career is at Chelsea has never... I, I, I think it's gone as pretty much as everybody would have expected it to. I never thought Remy was going to be Chelsea's first choice striker, going to be banging in 30 goals a season for him. Felt he replaced Denver Bar in that he was going to be that man called upon when Chelsea needed him. But when they didn't need him, he would just have to sit on the bench. And that's kind of what's happened under Mourinho. That's what's happened under Hiddink. And from a player's perspective, you want to be playing football, especially with the Euros coming up in the summer. He wants to be getting game time. He wants to be showing that he should be in that team, um, especially as their hosts as well. And the France have got a cracking squad. I'm not sure whether he'll get in that team or not, but he's definitely not going to get in that team if he's not playing football. So from that perspective, a move to Crystal Palace, a team who are crying out for a goal scorer, that could work out quite well for him. But would Chelsea and Hiddink be willing to reduce their squad quality, reduce the depth in their squad, just rely on maybe Diego Costa to get the goals for them? Let me know in the comments below what you think of that one. I think it suits Crystal Palace and Remy a bit more than it suits Chelsea. So I suppose it depends on what they want to do. Third and final rumour, also involving Chelsea, Antoine Griezmann, the high-flying winger from Atletico Madrid who is scoring goals for fun, uh, linked with a 75 million, yep, a, yep, 75 million pound move to Chelsea. Griezmann is one of the most exciting players in European and world football right now. Um, has been for, I'd argue, in the past like, one or two years, his progression has just, it's just gone vertically. Um, he's pacey, he's got goals in him, and he's very young. And he's got crazy hairstyles, which always helps, I suppose, if you're a footballer. Um, I really, really like Griezmann. I think Griezmann would improve any team in the world. Real Madrid, Man United, Barcelona, Chelsea. Any team he goes to, he's going to improve that team. Uh, so from, from that perspective, all the cards are in Atletico's hand. They've got him in a bumper release clause contract. And as, say, Man United found out when they tried to sign Ander Herrera, Release clauses aren't what they seem in Spanish football. If Chelsea were to pay a 75 million release clause, it doesn't mean they've guaranteed to sign him because there's a whole tax evasion. There's, I won't even get into it because it's just too complicated. But Chelsea would have to pay big, big bucks. And I suppose a big question would be, where would he fit in that Chelsea team? You've got Eden Hazard, Oscar, Willian attacking midfielders for fun. Hazard hasn't scored a goal this season which is pretty embarrassing for a player who won Player of the Year last year, but sort of indicative of Chelsea's up and down season. Would he come in and has a go out? Would that be a good move for Chelsea? Let me know in the comments below. Obviously, we'll be back tomorrow in the build-up to the transfer deadline day on the 1st of February. Uh, is there any transfer requests you want us to look at? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll look at them for you. Take it easy, guys.